Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Gabriel, and today I want to talk to you about keeping the faith and staying with your peace while on the Twin Flame journey. This journey is not without its challenges. I think anybody who has been on this journey for any length of time will know that there are challenges that come up. Sometimes it seems very impossible that you'll make progress on this journey. Your Twin Flame will tell you all kinds of things that feel like I don't know if this is going to work out. I don't know if they're ever going to change. I don't know if they're going to love me. Um, and when those things come up, it's really important to keep the, pay, the faith and stay in your peace. This doesn't mean that you numb out and you don't feel your feelings. If you feel upset, honor that. If you, if you feel angry, honor that. That's what allows you to move through these feelings. But you don't have to get swept up in the feelings. All you have to do is become become an observer of these feelings. You can you can recognize that you are not that feeling. You are simply experiencing this feeling. And if you don't get it right away, if you feel like you get swept up in your emotions a lot, um, that's okay. Uh, but this is a process of learning to master your emotions, learning to feel your feelings, love yourself, and move into a place of peace. And the secret is that you never have to leave your peace in order to feel all these feelings. Um, you know, like I said, like you don't actually have to leave your peace. You can become an observer. You still allow yourself to feel it, but you don't identify. You don't say, I'm sad. You say, I'm ex experiencing sadness. Um, and as you do that, you begin to recognize that letting them go are a lot easier because when you identify with your feelings um you begin to see them as a part of you and they are not actually a part of you they're just something an energy that's moving through you so that you can uh heal so that you can grow so that you can release these icky feelings that have always been there um and they come up compassionately. One one thing that I, when I was kind of learning how to do this and learn how to feel my feelings effectively and learn and heal these upsets is that I felt like I would be overwhelmed by choosing to feel my feelings. I felt like I was going to um, feel swept away or that um, I was, you know, gonna choose my feelings and all of my feelings would come up at once. and. You don't have to choose overwhelm. God is very compassionate. God is very kind. And God does not give you anything that you cannot handle. And if you choose to feel your feelings fully and compassionately, things will come up one at a time instead of all at once and being overwhelm, overwhelming. Um, so don't worry about that aspect of things. Like choose to um, just move through your feelings at a pace that's compassionate for you and it will get easier and it's not so much that the journey or the challenges that you go through get easier actually you'll probably face even harder challenges as you move through the journey because you're going to be able to heal more um, challenging things that are in your consciousness but you will get better at doing the work you will get better at seeing um, oh, well, this is just a block. This is where I can need to have faith. This is just where I need to love myself. And it can become a fun and easy and light process rather than something that you dread. Oh no, this, this feeling is coming up because you're actually giving power to that energy, to that feeling by dreading it or thinking that it's a bad thing. When what it is, it's a building block so that you can continue your ascension journey and you can continue your journey towards your twin flame union so don't look at it as a bad thing you know look at it as hey i have an opportunity to love myself deeper i have an opportunity to um, get closer to my twin flame by loving myself here so you know see it as a, a challenge like you might see on a video game of like oh i i just have to beat this boss and i'll move to the next level you're actually continually growing and expanding and leveling up as you're doing this um and that will build the foundation for you to have a peaceful, harmonious union with your twin flame instead of, oh, come together, fall apart, come together, fall apart, or have these, you know, emotional ups and downs. You, it doesn't have to be like that. It can be 
peaceful and gentle and easy. And when you work the process, you'll find that it gets easier and easier for you to recognize that and come to the same situ situations and handle them better each time. And that's actually very rewarding. Um, I know in my own journey, as I've like healed, I'll notice myself coming up through the same uh, types of situations, the same energy over and over again. But this time I'm able to handle it better. This time, instead of getting angry, um, I might feel that anger, but I can handle the situation um, much more adeptly because I have the tools to move through it. And also I've already healed enough in order to not overreact or not allow it to sweep me away. So continue working the process, do the mirror exercise. I highly recommend that you um, invest in Twin Flame Ascension School and also um, work with a coach. I'm a coach. I provide uh, services for to help you with one-on-one -on -one, um, coaching and to help you move through your challenges. Um, Twin Flame Ascension School is also very helpful to help you um, see how uh, students in Jeff and Shalia's, uh classes move through their own challenges. And you can see many of them today in their Harmonious Twin Flame Union because they work this process. So don't give up, keep working the process. And if you like my services, you can find them at sacredtwinflameunion.com. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next video.